Meghan Markle's decision to attend a baby shower in honor of her first child alongside her best pals in New York has sparked rumors of disapproval from Queen Elizabeth. Royal commentators have claimed the Duchess of Sussex defied royal tradition with the celebration, launching her into hot water with the monarch. But expert Dan Wooten suggested Meghan may have caused concern her in her grandmother-in-law and other senior members of the royal family by surrounding herself with powerful, successful women advising her to ignore family protocol as she continues to settle into her role. Piers Morgan, the Queen will be concerned about Meghan baby shower Prince Harry should tell Meghan Markle what she is doing so wrong speaking on his weekend talk radio show, Mr. Wooten said, if you look at the bunch of women who she was with at this baby shower, if you were of conservative stick alert to the rules working within the royal family, you would be worried about this. She is surrounded by some of the most powerful, most successful women in the world. You've got Serena Williams, the tennis star. You've got Amal Clooney, the human rights lawyer who is very attached to Hollywood because of her marriage to George Clooney. Another interesting one we didn't know about is Gail King. Not a household name in this country, but if you are in America, she is essentially the most powerful African-American woman on television and best mates with Oprah Winfrey. She is the perfect person to offer Meghan PR advice. This group of friends are going to be telling Meghan to not listen to what some stuck-up, boring members of the royal households are telling you. Read more, Prince Harry should tell Meghan Markle what she is doing so wrong says royal biographer he added, the fact she is prepared to keep these people around her shows that she's going to make some real change. Amal Clooney and Gail King were not friends with Meghan Markle before she met Prince Harry. These are new, powerful friends she is making as a result of her relationship with Harry. Despite claims of having broken royal tradition, the Duchess of Sussex was not the first modern royal to have a baby shower as her sister-in-law Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, had also one organized by sister Pippa Middleton before the birth of her first son, Prince George, in 2013. Traditionally the royal family has frowned upon baby showers, but historic links between the modern present giving party and historical conventions have been known to exist, most notably during the reign of Queen Victoria, great-great-great-grandmother to the Queen. Speaking at the time of Kate's baby shower for Prince George, an insider said, a baby shower wouldn't normally happen if you're in the royal family, but there is now a modern way of thinking. Royal Fury, how Queen Elizabeth II was upset with Prince Harry Queen Elizabeth alarmed after shocking treatment on royal tour Meghan Markle may, however be facing a £300,000 tax bills in the aftermath of her New York trip because of the lavish presents she received from her friends. Law-based accountant Catherine Welch claims the 37-year-old can expect to pay tax for each gift priced at the equivalent of £11,500. She said, there is a strict ceiling of $15,000, £11,500, on personal gifts before they become liable to taxation. Fortunately, there is no upper limit on the value of gifts spouses can give to one another, so anything very personal she has from Prince Harry won't have to be declared. But Ms. Welch added, to be honest given that this is such a unique situation with an American royal living in England, it might eventually take politicians on both sides of the pond to sort this one out rather than accountants.